So you're thinking about moving to New Orleans, Louisiana? Well, don't move too fast because there are some things that you need to know about the city of New Orleans before making your move. I dedicate this channel to being completely and brutally honest about the areas that I serve so that you can make an informed and educated decision about where you're moving to. Also, if you want your mind blown, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to share one interesting fact about New Orleans that is going to blow your mind. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know anything and everything about living in South Louisiana, then make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market here in our area. I'm Carson and Natalie and I are real estate agents with Weikert Realtors, Losher Properties. We're also investors and private money brokers, so we wear multiple hats. What, what we want you to know is that if you're looking to sell your home, we'll either help you sell it or we'll buy it ourselves. And if you're looking to move in the next week or in the next few months, Whatever it is, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. So like I mentioned, today in this video, we are talking about 10 things that are not so good about New Orleans, but don't get me wrong, New Orleans is such a good place to live. It's such a culturally rich place with good people, friendly people. There's always something to do and great food. So with that being said, our first con about New Orleans is gonna be the cost of living. The median household income is about $45,000 in New Orleans or 12% lower than the US national average. The only problem with that is the median household income cannot afford the median home price in New Orleans. At the time of this recording, there's currently 882 homes on the market in New Orleans with a median list price of 400,000, which boils down to about $262 per square foot. Now, if you look around New Orleans, North Shore and South Shore, you're not gonna find any market that even touches 250 per square foot. St. Tammany Parish is right around 170 per square foot. Uh, Bell Chase is going to be a little bit higher, closer to 200. Same with Araby, especially for those new construction homes. But 262 is pushing it for New Orleans. That's $400,000 for a home. And if you're only making 45,000, I'm telling you right now, you can't afford that home. And that is why 48% of residents in New Orleans rent because they can't afford to buy a house. Next on the list is gonna be property taxes. Now in Orleans Parish, the effective tax rate is 0.78%. Let's compare that to surrounding parishes. St. Bernard is only gonna be 0.46%. Jefferson Parish is 0.51%. And Plaquemines Parish is 0.54%. That means that Orleans Parish is 44% higher when it comes to property taxes than our second place, Plaquemines Parish at 0.54. That's quite a bit more for property tax. Lacking infrastructure is another issue in New Orleans. There's a lot of streets that need to be reconstructed. There's a ton of potholes around New Orleans. It's ridiculous. It looks like the moon. It looks like there's a bunch of craters in the ground, like there was a meteor shower or something. There's And there is also occasional failed pumping and sewage, because remember, New Orleans is the third rainiest city in the entire country. It gets 64 inches of rain per year. It's also below sea level so all this rain that's coming in we've got to pump it out into the canals and into the lake and so when that fails that can be a major issue if the water starts getting backed up now one thing that new orleans has done a good job of is building levees um, especially you know saint bernard parish as well um, there's a lot of new levees that have been built since katrina to keep what happened uh, during katrina from happening again so that's one good thing about the infrastructures the we've got pretty solid levees now but um there's a few things that we need to work on especially all the freaking potholes in the ground the next issue is going to be the job market in new orleans now i said that new orleans had the third most rainfall in all of the u.s it also has the third highest unemployment rate for the major metropolitan cities so the current unemployment rate in cities like dallas austin charlotte new york los angeles are all around four to five percent the u.s national average is six percent and new orleans is sitting right around 10 to 11 percent which means that we've got almost double the unemployment rate as the U.S. national average. The good news is that employment does seem like it's picking up speed. As you can see from this chart, we're up to 551,000 jobs as of March of 2022, up from about 535,000 
from March of 2021, which is a gain of about 20,000 jobs or 3.7% growth. Now, the poverty rate in New Orleans is a big issue. It's about a quarter of the population, a little over 25%. Now, this is 100,000 people and 400,000 that live in New Orleans are living in poverty. And so this is about double the U.S. national average and definitely something that we need to work on. And with, you know, uh, a high unemployment rate and high standard of living, high pricey homes with a low median average or sorry, medium household income, it kind of makes sense that we would have that poverty rate. But still, all these things are something that we do need to work on in the city of New Orleans. Another thing worth noting about New Orleans is that all of the homes, not all of them, but a lot of the homes are so close together in some areas. I mean, incredibly close, like where you can't even fit a body in between, like not a dead body, your own body in between the homes because they're so tight together and there's not a lot of acreage. Uh, out of 882 homes that are on the market right now in New Orleans, there is one house that has at least an acre okay and if if you want acreage you're gonna have to buy a vacant lot and build on it but even that is very scarce right now out of 300 vacant lots that are on the market 20 of them have at least an acre or more and 15 of them have two acres or more um so that's something to keep in mind there's not a lot of acreage around new orleans the next thing i wanted to mention is that with the nopd being understaffed and with such a high population in relation to police officers there is going to be a higher crime rate so that is something to keep in mind before making your move here to new orleans i want you to make an educated decision so keep that in mind and know that there is going to be a little bit of a crime issue here in new orleans the last negative thing i have to say about new orleans is that there's all kinds of bugs and creatures around there's all these caterpillars that fall out of the oak trees and land on your head and mosquitoes like crazy and there we have a crazy statistic for cockroaches this is what i needed to tell you that's going to blow your mind new orleans has the highest amount of cockroaches in a single city in the entire country, right? We have the most cockroaches out of any other city. Isn't that incredible? Boom. So in this video, I wanted to read you guys the best review I could find from niche.com about the city of New Orleans. And when I say the best review, I really mean the funniest review. So I went through about a hundred reviews to find this one. So I hope you enjoy it. It smelled like pee, but other than that, I liked it. A guy tried to steal my shoes. I saw a lot of strippers, the hotels were nice. And there you go, the best review of the city of New Orleans. Well, that's about it for today's video, guys. This video was meant to be informative and give you information about the city of New Orleans that you wouldn't necessarily think of before making a move here so that you can make a more educated decision. There is certainly good things about New Orleans. It's a wonderful place to live, and there's plenty, plenty of good things you can read about New Orleans. I would recommend niche.com. And we've got tons of other videos about New Orleans, so go watch some of those as well. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, do me a favor and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. And if you're looking to move in the next week or in the next few months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call with us. We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. And other than that, see you around town.